himself. And once he was giving a, 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 a talk to the Sahaba after the death of the Prophet in his Khilafah, and he mentioned something about himself, and he said in that sermon that I have never prostrated to an idol in my life. So he's telling about his own autobiography. I never prostrated to an idol. And he told the story that when I came of age, my father took me to the temple uh, in Mecca, the, the, the idol temple. And he told me, these are your gods, you must worship them. And he left me with them. So Abu Bakr said, I went to uh, one of these idols and said, I am hungry, feed me. But the idol didn't do anything. So I went to another, I said, I want clothes, give me food, give me uh, clothes. The idol didn't do anything. So Abu Bakr radiallahu an realized that this is ridiculous. He in fact took a stone and smacked the idol and the idol basically fell down. Abu Bakr said, I would never worship an idol uh, in my life. So this story is of course reminiscent of the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. That simply looking at the idols, you know this is batil. It's not going to be effective. And so Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, even before the coming of Islam, did not ever bow his head down to prostrate to an idol. And this shows us the purity of the fitrah of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. And of course, he was also known throughout his life as being a very gentle, soft-hearted, soft-spoken uh, person. And because of this, of course, he was beloved amongst the people of the Quraysh. Always people of a gentle nature become beloved. Always the, the modest, the meek, the humble people, they are the ones who are the most beloved in the community. And Abu Bakr as-Siddiq was indeed uh, like that. And uh, in the famous